everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're staying at the Conrad Washington DC, a hotel that claims to be five stars, but is it? We're gonna see if it truly lives up to the five star rating. Yeah, that's right. We've seen some reviews that are both good and bad. They're a real mixed bag of whether or not this place is great, worth the five star rating, or completely not great. If you're like us and you're curious what these stars even mean, we actually ended up looking into it. So we're gonna show you some graphics, a one star through five star and what they actually represent and who decides. A one star hotel offers basic accommodations, clean, comfortable, but very simple. At two stars, you get a bit more. An accessible location, essential amenities like a TV and some staff availability. Three stars brings more comfort, spacious rooms and better furnishing. Four stars steps it up with high quality fixtures, room service, and on-site facilities like a gym and restaurants. And five stars, that's where luxury peaks. Think superior service, gourmet dining, and top tier amenities like spas and valet parking. So who makes these ratings? We looked into it, and from what we could find, it's a multitude of different companies, but it's very subjective. So sometimes you can pay to play, other times it's Forbes, AAA, and a few others. So does the Conrad Washington DC actually meet those high standards? Let's dive in and take a closer look at what some of the other guests who have stayed here have reviewed. As you can see, the reviews for the Conrad Washington DC are all over the place. It's definitely a mixed bag and it makes us wonder what's really going on here. Come along with us as we're gonna experience everything the Conrad Washington DC has to offer. So we just got into the room. We're gonna do a little breakdown, see what we got going on here. So we have the coffee and tea, all the glasses you need, ice. This top drawer is gonna be snacks for purchase. We can't afford it. The second drawer is gonna be your alcohol, Coke, sodas. <laughs> we got up at 3.30 this morning, folks. We're still rolling. Then we have the robes and the slippers, which is our favorite part. We will be changing into these as soon as we shut this off. Next, we will go to the bathroom. A little disappointed in the amenities. You only have a mouthwash, a face wipe, and a shower cap. So usually you get at least some ear cleaners. Mojave Ghost is the brand that they use here. So you do get lotion and it actually smells really good. So, but again, lacking on the amenities. A nice huge mirror. We have our shower with again, Mojave Ghost and the rainfall. Moving on to our next section. And we have a nice large space for car wheels here. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so, but in all seriousness, the room is configured very oddly. So finding a spot for the luggage is a little interesting. What happened? I pressed the D&D &D on accident. It's cool. Everything's right here, but I get, watch how oddly this room is configured. I have to... You have to sneak in there to get to get <laughs> access to it. That also operates the curtains, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah. So All a little right. a little odd. So back to the room tour. So we have this odd configuration uh, with these huge posts. The windows are magnificent, though. The natural lighting in this room is pretty unmatched. As far as that goes, the bed, your average king size, very comfortable. Everything is controlled again here, which is nice. You have an odd seating arrangement here. We, we did ask for a fridge to be brought up. So Frank, you buy it. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's a good room. Is it five stars to be determined? It is very modern and sleek. We love the style. I don't know if it's worth $570 a night, but that's what this upgraded room is. We also tried to get access. They do not have an executive lounge here. So we tried to get uh, Secura Club access because our room was upgraded. Usually with that upgrade comes access to that place. However, because we didn't pay for the upgrade, we don't get access to it. So keep that in mind. It is a, an extra $170. 
uh, for two people if you want upgraded to the Secura Club Lounge. So far, so good. The staff has been super friendly. There was a lot of reviews saying... Service was, was subpar. Yeah. But everything we've experienced so far upon check-in, so helpful. So nice. Chris was great. He was the front desk attendant that helped us, but he was he was fantastic. Very friendly, very welcoming. We ate at Estuary, the on-site restaurant here, three different times for three different meals. Dinner on the first night, it was it was okay. Uh, we had a burger and a tuna tartare. Fish it. The tuna tartare was on the fishier side, so maybe not as fresh. Burger was well overdone, uh, kind of dry. Um, fries were decent, but you know, a burger is, should be easy to, to make. Yeah, and for almost $100. Right, yeah. We luckily were Diamond members, so you do get the $25 per day credit per person, so a total of $50. Lunch here the second day, tried the burger again, gave it a second chance, still terrible. So don't get the burger if you do it at the restaurant. Uh, Tay had the Caesar salad. Uh, the Caesar salad was $19. Uh, the last meal we had was breakfast. We had an eggs benedict, uh, executed perfectly with some serrano ham. Very delicious. Um, at a price tag of $32, that's high for the food, uh, but it was good. So um, Tay had the croissant sandwich with egg and also serrano ham, right, mm -hmm. and cheese. Uh, both were both were very good. Yeah, um, and the service was excellent. To talk more about the five-star experience, we were surprised when we heard there was not a spa. However, the front desk was so sweet and they said they had a concierge service, if we were interested in that, that they could refer us out. The gym was phenomenal. The views were really cool and the lighting, that natural lighting is always so impressive with those giant windows. The cardio equipment was plentiful and they had uh, machines as well as free weights. So really everything you need to get a good workout is available. Ooh, and cold towels, cold waters, headphones, dry towels. So everything you need is there. There is also a restaurant that is open Wednesday through Sunday and it is called The Summit. It is a rooftop restaurant and bar. All right, guys, as our trip comes to a close here in Washington, D.C., what's our verdict on the Conrad? It does have some really great elements. However, we think it falls short of that five-star mark. You know, it's really closer to a three-and-a-half or a four-star hotel. It really depends on what you value most in a hotel stay. If you've stayed here at the Conrad, Washington, D.C., we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Let us know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. We've got more reviews and travel tips coming up soon.